Hey guys, it's Monday, December 14th, and I have 23 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. All right, first thing I'm pulling is in C2. It is a pair of books. Pretty sure it's these right here. Yeah, Chronicles of Amber, Volume 1 and 2. Got these at a garage sale a few months ago. I've got 20 cents into the pair, and they sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next, I'm coming to B1 and sold multiple things out here. So we're just going to pull the whole bin. I sold, let's see, all three of these Bullseye 2 handheld. Uh, metal detectors for my mother-in-law and each one sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next thing's back in F1. So let's move this rack out of the way. This is something I've had for quite some time. Um, I feel like it's been around a year I've had this thing. I got it at a garage sale. It is an old Flintstones doll uh, from 1963. I've got $5 into this. It sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next thing's in F3. This is a Rawlings baseball softball glove. It's pretty big. It's 13 inches, so it could be used for both. So I made sure I put both of those in the title. And it's a lefty. Um, got this from Kevin the Tennessee Picker. Sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Sold a couple big pieces back here. First is this football lamp. Let's see if I can get this thing down. My dad got this at a garage sale over the summer and gave it to me to sell. I think he had about $5 into it. And I figured it would take until, you know, sometime during football season to sell. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is this dinosaur right here. This thing is huge. I got this up in Piqua from Danny and Parker. I think it was the first time I ever went up there. So it's been a pretty good while. I'd say six months or longer. The reason it took so long to sell, I'll go into in a minute. But I'll first tell you it sold for $39.99 plus shipping. So I always do calculated shipping with my stuff. Some things I do free shipping if it's first class mail and I know it's one gonna cost me about three dollars to ship, but everything else I do calculated, meaning I put in the dimensions and the weight and all that stuff, and then you know I let eBay figure out what it's gonna cost, and then they charge the buyer that amount. That way I'm not getting screwed. I've lost a bunch of money doing that before. And I was on a live show, I guess it's been about a week ago now. Tommy and Tracy had me on their show and we were talking about fixed shipping, like flat shipping. Basically, when you make your listing, you just do a flat rate shipping that you think, you know, whatever would cost the most if it's going to be California or whatever. And just as a uh, as an experiment, I tried it with this dinosaur. I put the shipping at about $28 because this is going to take a humongous box, a really, really big box. And it took five days and it sold <laughs> after it had been sitting here for six months. So must be something to that for sure. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go and change all of my listings to flat rate shipping, but it's something to consider, uh, especially with with bigger items, heavier items, it seems like eBay is quoting buyers much higher than what the prices actually are. Uh, personally, anything that's big and heavy, I only put like FedEx and UPS uh, as the options for the buyer because the post office is going to charge astronomical prices. It's just crazy how much they charge for big, heavy items. So that's one thing that I do that I think helps me out. But yeah, I'm going to be looking around here, you know, big, heavy stuff that I've had for a while. And if it hasn't moved, then you know, why not throw a flight rate shipping on there and see what happens. So yeah, Tommy, Tracy, thanks for the tip. If you guys didn't see that live show that I did or you haven't seen Tommy's channel, I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to check it out. All right, next thing's down in A5. It is a PC game, but I know I sold these two. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these two on that. These are some Starship, Starship Trooper action figures. It's the same one, Carbon Ibanez. Both are going to the same buyer, and they sold for $19.98 plus shipping. Those are going out to a viewer named Randy. Randy, thank you so much for the support, man. Hope you like those figures. And next thing I'm shipping out of here is Lord of the Rings PC game. Let's see where it is. All the way down here at the bottom. There it is. Battle for Middle Earth. That sold for $24.99 free shipping. Next is 39 video games. I did a big lot. These right here. We've got PS4, Xbox 360. I think there's some PS2 in here. Uh, these sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next is a Funko and A3. It's a Funko Dorbs figure, actually. Batman Returns. Let's see, we got Batman, Catwoman, and the Penguin. These sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next thing is in D8. So I'll pull this box down. It is a Daredevil um, 
Dorbs figure, this one right here, that sold for $5.99 plus shipping. If you were named Jose about this, Jose, thank you for the business. It means a lot. All right, next thing going out is down here at A5. I already pulled a couple things out of here. I guess I could have just stayed in this bin. Let's see here. It is this Sony Handycam. It's a newer model. It doesn't have a battery, but it did power on and seemed to work fine. So I just sold it without the battery for $34.99. Plus shipping. Next is up here in A1. It's a SpongeBob SquarePants Nintendo DS game, new in the plastic. That sold for $16.99. Free shipping. Next thing's a sweatshirt in B2. Got this at a garage sale over the summer. It is a Tall Stacks sweatshirt, which is an old event that used to happen in Cincinnati. Um, they'd have a bunch of boats down on the river and they'd have jazz music and this whole big thing, but they don't do it anymore, unfortunately. Uh, I paid a dollar for this. It sold for $19.99. Plus shipping. Next order is some ornaments. It is a lot of three. I think it's these right here. Yeah. Um, some different uh, cars. There's like a sports roadster. I think there's like a couple different. Um, I think these are like Murray cars. Got these from Kevin Tennessee Picker. They sold for $12.99 plus shipping. Those ornaments are going out to the viewer named Kendria. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Sold another ornament down here in B6. Let's see here. It's this one. Wonder Woman, this sold for $9.99, plus shipping. Sold a pair of jeans back here in D2. These are brand new Dickies with the tags. Uh, pretty big size, 52 by 32. Got these up in Cleveland, only had to pay a dollar for them. It's at this little flea market I found them. Uh, these sold for $14.99, plus shipping. Next thing is something kind of unique. Right up here, I've never sold one of these before. Um, I pretty much knew what it was when I saw it. I got this up in Piqua from Danny and Parker. This is a flower bin, like you can store the flower in it and then it sifts it. So you can like turn this and the flower comes out and it goes in one of those big wood Hoosier cabinets. If you guys, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, I might put a picture up on the screen that way you guys can see what it is I'm talking about. This sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Next thing's in C3. This is a Smurf Et wallet, something I got from the Mojo Casher crew. This sold for $24.99 for shipping. Your name Rich got this. Rich, thank you for the business. I really appreciate it. All right, last two things I'm shipping out are in my storage unit, so let's run over there and get them. I sold a couple of bats. First is this Easton, what is this, uh, XL2. That sold for $39.99 plus shipping. And next is a Mikan, Mikan Vicious. Not that one. Let's see. This one maybe? Yep, this one right here. And this one also sold for $39.99. Plus shipping. Every video I like to show you guys at least one thing that I pack and how I pack it. So I'm gonna go back and show you guys how I pack bats. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is get some bubble wrap for this bag. It's honestly not like these are gonna break just because they're so sturdy, but it just looks good when the buyer opens it. I bought this tape dispenser last year and it is the best thing I ever did. Before that, I was like taking pieces off of this and setting it back down and all that and I hated it. Now I can just use one hand, take a little piece of tape and do it like that. And I save on tape with it too, honestly. If you guys are interested in getting one of these, I'll put a link down below in the description. Okay, I'm going to grab one of these USPS mailing tubes. These are my go-to for shipping bats. They're 36 inches long, so they're essentially going to fit any size bat. The longest bat I've ever seen is like a 34, 35 inch. So these should always do the trick. This bat's a little bit loose, so I'm going to throw in some packing paper in here. And it's good to go. All right, before I end this video, I have a question I want to answer from a viewer. This is from Tom Marvin. Another great video. Thanks, Tom. Where do you get the metal racks on which you store your totes? So he's talking about these right behind me. And I didn't always have these. I used to have like, like cheap plastic shelving and just all that type of stuff. And I didn't like it. I switched to these four or five years ago. And I love them. They've got wheels on the bottom. 
So I can like move these in and out whenever I want to and free up space and kind of change the layout if I need to. Um, for example, like I've got a rack back here of stuff and when something sells on there, I just pull this out of the way and get it and then put that back in there and it just kind of works really good for the space here. I got these at Lowe's on a Black Friday deal. I wanna say they're normally priced at like 80 and I got them for 60 and then I had to buy the wheels separately which were like $20 for a set of four. These racks are six feet tall, four feet wide, and 18 inches deep. And you can find variations kind of all over the place. Right now, I think Sam's Club has some that are like four feet tall, maybe three feet wide, and like 12 inches deep with wheels for like 40 bucks, which is really cheap. Amazon has some pretty good deals on them too. I think you can get some there for around 60 or 70 bucks. But yep, yeah, price it around. Um, I love these racks. They've been really sturdy for me. They hold a lot of weight and they're just really functional. If you guys have a question for me, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it in a future video. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.